A rumor has been spreading that Elon Musk has presented a brilliant idea to launch the Starship from the sea. Hence, the FAA, which didn't allow the launch due to environmental concerns, will be okay with it and also following the explosion that happened while the rocket was being tested. How much truth does the rumor hold? Welcome to the Tech Surge! Let's gather all the information in this video about the well-anticipated Starship launch to Mars. Stay tuned! The explosion on the prototype of SpaceX's Booster 7 rocket recent week was not something the company had planned for. Even though the company is still figuring out how much damage was done to the prototype and the huge launch pad and tower, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is sure that the first orbital flight of Starship could still happen in a few weeks. Even though the company is still figuring out how much damage was done. When asked when the orbital test launch would happen, Musk said, if the tests go well, as soon as next month. The situation is not good. We're not going to hold our breath, though. After all, the CEO had been making the same promise at least since October of the year before. Since then, though, a lot of progress has been made. This time, SpaceX is getting ready for the launch with permission from the Federal Aviation Administration. This certification came with 7 to 5 environmental requirements that the company must meet in order to keep it. People who were there on Monday were surprised to see the big rocket stage go up in flames in a split second, along with a loud explosion. Musk first sounded like he was confirming that the explosion would happen soon, but then he changed his tune and said, yes, actually not good. Musk confirmed that by flashlight, the base of the vehicle seems to be fine later that night. On Tuesday night, Musk went back to the area where the rocket boosters are. In a tweet, he said, damage seems small, but we need to check all the engines, which is a process that will probably take a while. Musk told Reuters that Launcher 7 will be returning to the launch stand probably next week. This means that it will eventually go to the company's hot bay, a huge room where the spaceship and its booster are put together. Given that Musk often says things that are too optimistic and too big, it doesn't seem likely that Starship will go in orbit in the next month. However, we are very excited for the day when it will happen. Let's talk about the Starship and Super Heavy launcher and then evaluate how the problem occurred. The SpaceX Starship has two parts. At the bottom is the Super Heavy booster and at the top is the Starship spacecraft. When the Super Heavy goes off, it gives Starship the thrust it needs to get into orbit. Once they are both in space, Starship will break off and go on its own way, while Super Heavy will head back to Earth. Elon Musk, who started the company, says that the rocket is meant to be a reusable launch vehicle that can take people to Mars. SpaceX is making a two-stage spacecraft that will carry people into space. It will be made up of Starship, which will do the actual carrying, and the Super Heavy rocket booster. Even though the company has been practicing launching and landing Starship prototypes, there is still a lot of work to do on the $216 million Starship, which used to be called the BFR. Monday at 16.20 Central Time, while SpaceX was testing the Super Heavy booster on the ground, an explosion happened. When the explosion happened, the NASA Spaceflight website was in the middle of showing a live stream. After the test, the booster was bolted into its standing position on a test gantry. An hour after the accident, there was a lot of black smoke coming from the area around the test pad, but there was no immediate sign that anyone had been hurt. The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, expressed his concern on Twitter saying that the condition is not good. The team is looking at the damage right now. Musk also said that the problem was caused by the spin tests that were done on the 33 Raptor engines that were powered by liquid methane and liquid oxygen that were kept at a very low temperature. The problem happened in Boca Chica, Texas, in the middle of a static fire test of the booster that had been going on for several days. SpaceX put 33 Raptor engines on the booster so that it could be used in an unmanned orbital test flight that the company planned to launch later this year. In his statement, Musk called the use of cryogenic fuel an added hurdle. On Twitter, he said, it evaporates to create a risk of a fuel air explosion in an environment with some oxygen, like Earth. When it evaporates, there is a risk of a fuel air explosion. Mail Online tried to get an official answer by getting in touch with both SpaceX 
and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA. A spokesman for the FAA said, The FAA is in close contact with SpaceX as the company looks into the accident that happened during the development of their Super Heavy booster rocket. The law limits the FAA ability to keep an eye on safety to just making sure the public is safe during scheduled launch and landing operations. The agency doesn't have anything to do with what happened the day before. After the test, the booster was bolted into its standing position on a test gantry. An hour after the accident, there was a lot of black smoke coming from the area around the test pad, but there was no immediate sign that anyone had been hurt. The company's next-generation launch vehicle, Starship, which will be 394 feet, 120 meters, tall when paired with its super-heavy first-stage booster, is at the center of Musk's plans to make space travel more affordable and common. When it is joined to its very heavy first-stage booster, Starship will be 394 feet, 120 meters, tall. Even though a test flight of Starship without people on board was supposed to take place this summer, it now seems likely that the launch will be put off, which is something we made clear at the beginning. In the second half of 2020 and the first few months of 2021, SpaceX lost four prototypes of the Starship itself because of a series of high-altitude test launches that exploded when they tried to come back to Earth. In May of 2021, after a test flight at a high altitude, the Starship prototype was able to land safely. Musk has said before that the first orbital launch of Starship would ideally happen in January or February 2022, and that it could be followed by 12 or more launches throughout the rest of the year. In November 2017, Elon Musk told the National Academies of the United States government, this first launch has a lot of risks, so I wouldn't say that it has a good chance of working, but I do think that we will make a lot of progress. He said that after SpaceX finishes a dozen or so orbital test flights next year, the company will start using Starships in 2023 to send valuable satellites and other payloads into space. Musk also said that his company has built a factory where a lot of these cars will be made. He told the people in the National Academies about this and said, This is not a case of just one or two Starships. We plan to make a lot of them. In the end, we might need a thousand ships to spread life to other planets, the scientist said. Musk thinks that a natural or human-made disaster will one day bring about the end of civilization. This will make it necessary to move people to another planet, and Musk says that Mars is the only feasible choice. This could be a pandemic even worse than the one caused by the COVID-19 virus, a steadily falling birth rate, nuclear Armageddon, or even a direct hit by a killer comet that wipes out a continent. What do you think about all this that happened? Will Elon Musk launch the starship from the sea? That is yet to be found. As for now, that was all from our side. Thank you so much for watching this video. We wish to bring another amazing video with a lot of information next time. Keep supporting.